हेलो एवरी वन आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज मैथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग अ लीनियर इक्वेशन देर आर बेसिकली थ्री मैथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग लीनियर इक्वेशन फर्स्ट इज हिट एंड ट्रायल मैथड सेकेंड इज सिस्टमेटिक मैथड एंड थर्ड इज ट्रांसपोजिशन मैथड लेट इज स्टार्ट विथ हिट एंड ट्रायल मैथड इट्स अदर नेम इज ट्रायल एंड एर मैथड ऑल्सो इन दिस मैथड वी सब्सटीट्यूट वेरियस वैल्यूज ऑफ a variable and stop only when the value satisfies the equation that is when lhs is equals to rhs let us take an example here x plus 3 is equals to 5 this is an equation now we have to replace this variable x by different values so we have taken here one to replace this x 1 plus 3 is equals to 5 when we solve this we get 4 is equals to 5 but we know 4 is not equal to 5 so here lhs is not equal to rhs now we take x value as 2 and we replace this x by 2 and we get 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 so this sum is equals to 5 and 5 is equals to 5 means lhs is equals to rhs and this is the solution that means by which value of the variable this left side of the equation is equals to the right side that is become its solution or the root or we can say it is simply very simply like we have to find out that number which when added to this 3 gives us 5 let us take another example 2x is equals to 6 here we have considered x is equals to 1 2 and 3 1 by 1 let's see 2 multiplied by x the value of x is taken as 1 and then when we solve we get 2 is not equals to 6 lhs is not equal to rhs here this x is replaced by 2 and the value of left side is 4 which is not equal to right side value which is 6 and here when we take x value as 3 the value of this left side after solving this 2 into 3 is 6 and right side is also 6 so left hand side is equal to right hand side so here we can see that this value of this variable x is satisfied by if it is 3 so we can say the solution of this equation is 3 now second method systematic method solving an equation by hit and trial method is quite lengthy and hence time consuming so we follow direct method or systematic method of solving algebraic equations observe the balance given the left pen of the balance contains a bag containing an containing a number of unknown buttons say x and three buttons the right pen of the balance contains nine buttons we see both the pens balance each other we have x plus 3 is equals to 9 now we take out three buttons from both sides both the pens still balance each other so we have x is equals to 6 x is equals to 6 this can be shown in this manner we subtract 3 from both sides we get this that means subtract the same number from both sides of the equation now we observe the balance the left pan of the balance contains a bag that originally had x buttons but now two are missing the right side of the pan of the balance contains five buttons we see that both the pans balance each other we have x minus equals to 5 now put two missing buttons 
on the left pen but to balance the pan we must also put two buttons to the right pan so we have x is equals to 7 this example can be written like this we are adding 2 to both sides and then we get x is equals to 7 that means add the same number to both sides of the equation thus we can say that whatever we do to the one side of the equation we must also do to the other side of the equation now let us take one more example x by 3 equals to 7 here to find the value of x we have to multiply both sides by 3 after solving this we get x is equals to 21 that means multiply both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number let us take one another example 5x is equals to 20 so to remove this 5 from here we have to divide both sides by 5 so this will be cancelled and this will be cancelled and we get x is equals to 4 so divide both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number transposition method instead of adding or subtracting the same number on of on the both sides of the equation we can transpose a term from left hand side to the right hand side or vice versa therefore the rule for transposing a term is we remove the term from one side of the equation and write it with the opposite sign that is plus into minus and minus into plus on the other side of the equation for example 19x minus 13 is equals to 11 minus 11x plus 35 we here transport this 11x from right side to the left side it is having plus sign here it will be changed to minus and we transport this minus 13 from left side to the right side so this sign will also be changed after solving this we get 8x is equals to 48 now this 8 is multiplied by x so the opposite operation of this is division so it will go to the right side and perform the division it will divide 48 and gives 6 so x is equals to 6 let us take another example 3x minus 5 upon 2 equals to x plus 4 upon 3 on cross multiplication we get 3 multiplied by 3x minus 5 equals to 2 multiplied by x plus 4 we multiply 3 3 is 9 3 5 is 15 2 x and here 8 so this is 9x so we transport now this 2x from right side to the left side and this minus 15 from left to the right side and sign will be changed from plus to minus and minus to plus then 7 as it is multiplied here it will go and divide to the other side and we get x is equals to 3 is to 2 by 7 as a result so here we conclude this topic thank you for watching